everyone. Welcome to Fitness Friday. I am so blessed that you're here and tuning in. And we've been so blessed to have with us today Eric Scott. He's a personal trainer with Alley Fitness. And I joined the gym earlier this year and I see him there and he's out there on the grind training people. And one of the awesome things about Eric is I see him there at the gym and he's doing a great job inspiring people. And he's there focused and training them and their nutrition and also in their workout routine. And inside of our life, we always have to have someone who's ahead of us, somebody who can teach us, someone who can show us things about our fitness or about our health to help us get to that place that we want to be inside of our life. And I was telling them about our 21 day fast, how many of us got really encouraged to be healthy and to live lives that honor God with our bodies and also knowing that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So today we are so blessed to have Eric on our show with us. Eric, it's great to have you with us today. Such a blessing. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on and that's quite an introduction. I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just here to, uh, I'm really excited to get a chance to get to talk to everyone about getting a little bit healthier, really making sure that these habits stick and they last for a very long time because in, in, in the long run, this is all about creating a journey. It's a fitness journey. It's not, you know, it's not just 21 days. It's, it's a whole life. Wow. That's so awesome. So Eric, tell us a little bit about yourself and also how you got involved in fitness. Yeah, so um, I've been training now professionally for a little over six months and I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but I've learned a great deal and I've, I've also been training myself for over seven years now. So I've learned, wow. learned a great deal. Um, before, before fitness, I, I, I came from fitness from a very different angle. I came from fitness from a CPA route. I worked in public accounting, I worked in private accounting, and you know, that, that just wasn't my calling. It wasn't what I was made to do. And so with the encouragement of my wife, she really encouraged me to get out of accounting and pursue something that I love like fitness. And so here I am today, love training people, love seeing the, seeing the progress, I love seeing the results, helping people feel better, really be the best versions of themselves. Wow, that is so awesome. So I have a couple of questions for you. You know, our church, like I said, we, we've been wanting to get healthy. We've been wanting to um, just get fit. Um, one of the things I noticed about that you were saying is that it's more than 21 days. It's more than 21 days. So the question I have for you is, what would you say to someone who wants to get healthy? Someone who maybe they did 21 day fast and then they just kind of went back to their old routine. What would you say to someone who's like, hey, I wanna get healthy, I wanna get out of these bad habits? Mm -hmm. Well, first off, I, I would congratulate them because that that is really a due celebration for them taking some time to really consider and spending a lot of time in that self-realization coming to that conclusion that I wanna get healthy and now is a really good time for that. So first off, really kudos to you. That's a really big, great thing for you to do. Second off, I would say, I want you to find your why. There's a reason why after those 21 days, those habits dropped off. Find your why, what inside of you, what intrinsically is really driving you to, to continue to do these things day in and day out. So it could either be, hey, I wanna have more energy so I can spend more quality time with my family. I recently had a health scare. So if you had a health scare, that's a great, that's a great reason to get fit. Find that reason, find what's driving you. That is going to be what you focus on when things get hard, when you're not seeing those results. And I encourage, and I encourage each and every one of you to either write it down on a piece of paper, write it down in a note on your phone so that you have that with you. And when you're not feeling so great that day, you're like, why am I doing this? I don't want to get up. I don't want to go to work out. I don't want to eat this food. It's boring pull out that note, that's your why, that's why you're doing it. And Eric, you know, just going there uh, to the gym, I see you there training people very early in the morning and you're there at six in the morning, you're out there and training people and I just get so encouraged by it. But you personally, how do you maintain your health? Mm -hmm. How do you maintain it? So I maintain my health. I follow, I follow a pretty strict regimen, which isn't necessarily the result of an overnight change. For me, I, I, you know, I like to, I like to lift weights. I eat very healthy, but again, that's not something that happened overnight. Um, I was very patient, and I looked at it like a puzzle. Each little piece was making some kind of incremental change that led to significant change over a long period of time. So. 
for you if, if, you're, if you're struggling with that, I would really encourage you to pick up those small habits. Start small, because that's where I started. I didn't start eating chicken and rice out of nowhere. You know, that was something that I learned over time. For me, it was, it was just putting those little pieces together, fitting that puzzle together, and it's very individual for me. I found things that worked well for me. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't wake up at six in the morning every single day on a whim and just say, oh, this is what I'm gonna do now from forever on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start working out three days a week, you know, three days a week. And, and I would encourage people a great place to start is three walks a week for 30 minutes. That's wow. super easy. Or even watching the portions of your food. I'm not even saying you need to change the types of food that you're eating. So instead of like that, that big bowl of ice cream, you know, try to do half. See how that see how that goes. Just little little small changes again over time will lead to significant results. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for your expertise. And I am so blessed. You know, next week we're gonna be having Eric on our show again, answering some more questions. But please let us know in the comments any questions that you may have. But thank you so much, Eric, for being here with us today and taking the time. And also I wanted to announce next week Eric will be on our show again. We're gonna be so blessed. So let's remember that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We've been bought with the price. Let's honor God with our bodies.